It's a great question. And I don't have one company out there that I would say, hey, that's the company because I've, and I'm not just saying this, I've been extremely fortunate to have an amazing career. Currently where I'm at, uh, the last seven years with Breakthrough Beverage and leading so many exciting developments, integration, strategy, and growing our business. 22 years of major cross-functional roles, uh, executive roles, sales, marketing, general management, uh, running countries, running global tequila at Diageo. And my journey started in the beverage industry with Gallo, a tremendous foundation and what a great place to start. So to be honest, I've worked for great companies already. If I were to really say what is the one company, it might be Maggie's Donna Margarita's Tequila and really starting my own business, my own company. And um, who knows when I'm retired on a beach someday and decide to do that, you know, you may see uh, that margarita out there or that tequila someday. So if anyone wants to join me, please do. Breakthroughs culture, one thing and many things I'm very proud of, especially when we brought together Legacy Warts and Legacy Charmer Sunbelt to form Breakthrough Beverage. We're five years old, actually. And, you know, we're a small company and a large company all in one. And I think that's a special place to be. So, you know, we're a very scalable organization, a $6 billion organization, but we operate in a very agile, kind of inclusive environment that allows um, our talent to grow and develop because they have accessibility to executives uh, and it helps give the proper exposure in a very positive collaborative environment that allows for that talent to really, you know, be the best in the industry, in my opinion. So, um, you know, I think we have a, a fun culture. We move with pace. There's not a lot of red tape and I can't ask for anything more. My charity actually has nothing to do with what I currently do in the beverage business. I am extremely passionate and have always had this dream. Maybe it'll be part of my, my tequila company someday. But, you know, I think dogs are an amazing thing. And, and I just actually got a 12-week-old Yellow Lab. She's, uh, she's at daycare right now. I think how dogs can help people, whether it's somebody who's disabled, guiding eyes for the blind, whatever it may be, having that opportunity to really make somebody's life better because of the four-legged friends that, that can really help get people through life. Uh, that's really what I would do. And if I can bring it back to the drinks business and everything holistically, somehow I would tie it together. But that's really where my passion is. It's a pretty easy answer for me. I mentioned the companies I've worked for. I actually started out of school working for a CPG company, Playtex Family Products. So four organizations over my career. I can honestly say in less than one hand, I have uh, a mentor, maybe uh, two in, in one of those companies, but less than five mentors across my career uh, based on each of those organizations. And that's a true mentor-mentee relationship. You know, you have to kind of find each other. It's not just a handpick. This person's going to help guide you. And each one of those individuals is still in my life somehow. I keep in touch. We keep in touch with each other. And I think, you know, I learned something as they learned through me, by the way, along each of those steps of the journey from those individuals. And well, there's not just one thing, but uh, many things that's helped me really get to where I am today. Uh, have the confidence to lead, and as well, learn from mistakes and, and be a stronger leader going forward. The best leadership advice I've been given, you know, it's interesting. I, I, I guess I grew up in a, in a little bit of a different era. It's kind of weird to say that, um, but authenticity, which is really a hot topic right now, uh, certainly was as I was developing in my career and, and especially the early stages. And, you know, but there was somebody who really, one of those mentors I referenced earlier, who said, you know, listen, authenticity is key, but authenticity was skill. Uh, you do have to respect the professional environment you work in and certainly the understanding of the environment around you, the other people, and as well, um, how to be yourself but do so with skill. So that was something that really, as I grew and developed over time, became more and more 
uh, clear to me. It really did start to resonate as to how I would coach others on that same type of thing. I think the other thing is I, I often heard from another one of my uh, true mentors was, you know, only you can make yourself happy. And I think as a younger developing associate through my career, I didn't certainly understand what that meant. You know, I always thought a people manager should tell me what to do and how I should progress forward. But really, it is about navigating your career, understanding what your balance is with career and life and personal and everything else. And as well, you know, what truly makes you happy, what truly drives your inspiration and satisfaction in what you do. And I think, you know, with that, that did really start to resonate with me as well, that advice as I got older and it became more and more clear to me, you know, this is the path I want to take, not this path, or this is how I want to kind of holistically balance career and life. And, um, you know, I think that was great advice for me. I'm not one of these individuals who, you know, has a list of people who are kind of, um, you know, hey, I'd love to hear from this person or have dinner with this person. I actually, you know, based on some of my um, aspirations earlier about someday when I'm retired running my own tequila company, I'd love to hear from others who've taken some risk, who, who said, you know what, uh, I'm going to pivot and do something different. And, you know, here's how I went about it. Uh, here's the risk that that was involved. Here are the ups and downs. Um, and now here's where I'm at with my own personal success story. So if there's anybody out there like that who wants to share that story and roadmap, I think that's personally who I'd love to hear from. Mm -hmm.